All right, everybody, welcome to another episode of Max and Howard Drink Beer. I'm here with my sidekick, Nub Dylan. I like that. There wow. you go. Holy so cow. I am still Max. I am Howard. Wow. So, what an entrance. Yeah, there Not you go. Not bad for a guy that's been, you know, working all day and fucking exhausted out of mind. I was exhausted probably about six hours ago. <laughs> so the fact that we're still going is just... <laughs> Why? You know, it's 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 funny too, cause uh, the last couple of weeks we've just uh, been sitting here like, Ugh. oh fuck, we forgot to podcast. And here we are, we're 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 trudging through, cause the next couple of weeks are gonna be weird, and if we even do podcasts, but we're getting through it today. And Max, we got a, a fun beer today. A fun beer. From it's a, a fun beer. What's a fun beer? From our friends at uh, Wild Mind. Artisan ales, you know, another American wild ale, and I'm I'm gonna butcher this. I don't, I don't do French. Mirage de du Rogue, right? I don't know. I, I can't even see the bottle for here. Yeah, I probably butchered that, huh? Wild Mind. Yeah, we we had a couple of these. This is beer number three. So so oh. what is it? Is it like Nolens? Is that where it's from? No, it's Minnesota. What, then why are we reading French? What's French about Minnesota? Uh, French Canadian? Yeah, that, I, that's what I was going to go with. Well, somebody has to go with. Yeah. Uh, did I say that right? Mirage de Rogue. I thought you, I thought you spoke French. I, I did. Once upon, a, once upon a blue moon, and then I started drinking real beer. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, so this is an American wild ale, and like we said, American wild ales are sour. Uh, interesting. What's that? So, Untapped has it <laughs> with 430 check-ins at a 4.10. Oh, so this is going to be pretty good. Well, so, it's, wow, 8.8. 8. 8. 8.8. Yeah. Oh, the alcohol? Oh, yeah, yeah you're, you're going to sleep good tonight. Well, I was going to sleep good regardless. You know, all, all three hours or four hours or seven hours or 12 hours or how many ever hours I'm going to sleep. That's, that's, yeah, that was a lot. That yeah. Could right. be a lot of hours. You um, impressed? I can count that high, right? I'm still pretty impressed in general. Um, yeah, aged with uh, grapes, uh, tempernil. I don't fucking know. They're aged with grapes. God damn it. You know, st- somebody go describe the bottle. This is great. Describe the bottle. Okay. Describe the bottle. It's got white lettering. Yeah. It's very blocky. It's got a blue label. The bottle is brown. Simple is a good thing, and I gotta tell you. I believe it was corked though, if I saw right. You had to get Sam's trusty bedazzled bottle opener yeah, out. That was a lot of fun. Uh I who doesn't like the bazet? Oh, words are hard. Who doesn't like the bedazzled corkscrew? Um, and it's deep in there too. Like that's a big corkscrew. That's a big mother trucker right here. And it's very, uh, it's very damp. So it's a damp, uh, moist, if you will. Moist. Yeah. Is it like this one? Was this one? I don't know if that one was um oh, moist yeah. or not. Oh yeah. I'm really emphasizing. Oh, I suppose I smell too. Max is sniffing. Is it? Is it a good year for the cork? Did you do you bite off a little piece no, no, of no, it that, and taste that was, it? That was ninety three, the year of the cork. Right? Ah, the no, year that's of the cork. Something different. Never mind. Um, <laughs> oh um, man. Yeah. Was the other one corked? Yes. It was. I think so. So I think the last one will be corked too, if that's the way that the trend is uh, trending. If the trend is trending for the trend of the trends. No wonder they were ten dollar beers. They're fucking corked all yeah. the labor alone. Yeah, to cork it, and then you're you're actually prepaying so that you have to do the work to get the beer out. Yeah, that makes sense. So have you tasted it? You know what? It's 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 like a wine. Those those barrel aged sour uh, wild ales. There, it was aged with grapes. You know, so it's wine like. Am I am I wrong? Yes. Okay. You're very wrong. Okay, great. <laughs> it's uh. It's sour. Yeah, it's yes. actually really sour. It, it's mildly sour, I thought. But... It's like uh, somebody's been soaking warheads in beer. Ooh. Now that you put it that way, yeah, you're right. You know, that has that same good old school yeah. uh, pucker to the cheeks from warheads. Yeah. I, ooh, yeah. Now when you put it that way, you definitely taste that 8.8 in there, too. So, well, you know who else drinks this 8.8? Who's that? 
James Bond. He does? He, clearly he does. Oh. Well, that was part of the uh, kind of day. We all vegged out. We had some pizza and all the Quick Trip snacks was from Quick Trip, which they're going to be our commercial. Probably right, sponsored by break. Quick Trip because and, uh, we spent the money there yeah. for their food. Right. And uh, Max throws on Skyfall with... Uh, New James Bond with uh, Danny Craig himself. Uh, I don't know if I've ever seen another movie with Daniel Craig. Was he in Star Wars? Mm, if you want him to be, he was. Okay, then he was in Star Wars once. Yeah, he was also in Jurassic Park. Was he the dinosaur? Yes. Oh. Hmm. So, speaking of that, we're going to get super off tangent because we're talking about Daniel Craig. Okay. And there's another person that's something I happened to cross on the internet. Okay. Um, apparently... Jean Claude Van Damme. Oh yeah, was the original cast uh, Predator, and a photo has recently surfaced uh-huh. of him in his very cartoon esque Predator costume. Mm-hmm. That apparently he didn't like something about it, threw a fit, and this is before he became a big deal, you know. And they ended up going, "Well, maybe he was right." They got somebody else to do it, made it better, and it became one of the most iconic costumes, you know. Just like James Bond, the most iconic costumes of all time. Yeah, just a tuxedo. You know, Very so. Iconic. So, um. When we were talking about it before we even started, I read more of the books and then watched the movies. It sounds like Max watched a lot of the, like, older movies. I. You're an aficionado. I, I did watch the movies. I thought Sean Connery was fantastic. You know, uh, Roger Moore did his thing, you know, and uh, Timothy Dalton, mm-hmm. uh, he was he was fantastic. You know, they kind of all had that not a British accent, but they were, you know, British Secret Service, and that's kind of why it was just like, okay, you know, um, everybody has their favorite. Yeah. You know, I I know if Morgan was here and he would ever sit down in front of the mic with us, he won't. Uh, he would he would throw a huge fit about it. Um, I grew up like most people our age, as Pierce Brosnan was the first Bond that we got introduced to. Yes, yep. Die Another Day was the movie in my house. Yep. So yes, sir. So there was there was that one. Um, I think I I might actually own that. Die Another Day. Yep. With the uh, uh, Haley Raspberry or whatever? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Blueberry <laughs> Taco. No, no, no. That was a different movie. Oh. But, yeah, I saw okay. I didn't see the movie, but I saw the parts that were important in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, yeah. I mean, but, I mean, every aspect of it, um, when I was, you know, starting out my video game years. Oh, yeah. You know, oh, we, yeah. we had, you know, GoldenEye and Golden Nightfire. Eye. You know, which were two big games, you know, before Call of Duty did their thing. Yeah. You know, so, I mean... I think I played GoldenEye more than I watched the James Bond uh, movies. So, because I played the game, I wanted to know the characters, I got into the movies. Um, Mm -hmm. One of my favorite ones of all time was Man with the Golden Gun. Okay, cool. And we would get to the point where, you know, you could play in Nightfire where that's all you had. You had the golden gun. Nice. Everybody is running around. One shot. <laughs> okay, how do you get good at a game? Well, you got one shot. If you miss, guess what? You miss. Now you're done. Now what are you going to do? You're running around looking for ammo. And you got, you got your fist low, don't right. you? So now you got to get to punch people. Well, that's so, cool. So um, that was one of the ones that was my favorite. Um, I don't know if they do it anymore. But I know in my early teenage years, uh, every Thanksgiving, they used to do a Bond movie marathon. Oh, yeah. Okay. That I think makes it sense. was on, like, uh, Spike TV, maybe. Oh, that's obsolete now. TNT. Oh, that's probably closer. You that's know. A, TNT is still a thing. That's you know, um, what, what was it called, called before that? It was whatever Spike TV was before it was Spike TV which is not what it is anymore. Yeah, it's Paramount or something. So, but I know that was something that they did, you know, that it was kind of, hey, we got together wherever we got together, 
everybody kind of crowded around the TV and was watching James Bond movies. Mm -hmm. You know, so that was kind of that thing, you know, and then I never really bought into the, you know, I got that there were different actors who played different Bonds, but when I was a kid and Pierce, they retired Pierce Brosnan and brought in Daniel Craig, Yep, I pretty much stopped watching the movies. That makes sense. I don't think he does a bad job. I actually think think when I do finally watch them, they all are really good. He brings some um, modernness to the uh, to the series. Yeah. Well, and 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 it definitely is a old school vibe. Yep. They're trying to bring back from what I was told. They were trying to bring back the old school edginess from the books. Great segue. I read the books. I was a complete nerd and weird kid in high school, and uh, the way to look strange in high school was to not watch the movies, but always have that book in my hand. So, Die Another Day, I read that. Um, God, how did the... It, he, he did a haiku. That was the one when he was in Japan? I think that's the one that was in Japan. Mm, yeah. Yeah. And so he did a... No, that was only, you only lived twice. That's right. That's because right because he was he. They disguised him, and they 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 did haikus. Yeah, you only live twice. Once when you are born, when once when you look death in the face. Right. And I always like uh, that always stuck in my head, and that's why I only live twice. So I, I always appreciate with the movies, is the fact that, at some point in the movie. They say the name of the movie. <laughs> and I love that, especially because I can think of Die Another Day, mm. where he's sitting in the chair, and the guy walks into the room freaking out, and Pierce Brosnan turns around and goes, so, you live to die another day. <laughs> and it's like, yes! He did it! He said the name of the movie in the movie! <laughs> that was like right out of Family Guy. That was pretty good. You know, but seriously, that's that's part of the... You know, the allure, the the corniness of the whole series is it always has that. Yeah, and, you know, that's that's true. There is a, like, corniness, almost a satire. Well, and, I mean, you think about it, and it just, you know, like, everybody thinks that, you know, the Bond drink of choice is to show sophistication. Mm-hmm. When When you think about it, you're not supposed to make a martini shaken. If you've ever bartended, that's not how you make it. That's how you make it wrong. You're not supposed to do that. So from what I was told as a kid was that it was a kind of a joke that was thrown in there early on in the books to show of what level of sophistication is he? He's not. He is he is a a grunt. He is a thug, you know, who's going to kill you, you know, a secret agent. And he's trying to masquerade as this, you know. You know, man, suave, wow. of, you know, mysterious, you know, sophistication, you know, and it's just like when he does that, it, it, from my understanding, it was supposed to be like a, oh, yeah, how, how suave is this guy? He has no understanding. He heard somebody make a martini once and no, no, I don't like it that way. I want you to make it wrong. <laughs> he uh, like Sherlock Holmes almost. Yes. Yeah, it's like that way. You're not supposed to take him seriously, but he takes himself relatively seriously. Right. And Hollywood has taken him pretty seriously. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I grew up segueing to them, but I grew up with all the uh, Basil Rothbone, um, Sherlock Holmes. Oh, yeah. Where yeah. Dr. Watson is just this big old fumbling oath. Yeah. At all times, he's just, oh, 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 I'm going to do, do this, you know, to kind of make the character of, you know, hey, who has a brain? Sherlock Holmes and Moriarty. Everybody else is just a bumbling idiot. <laughs> Did you, and maybe this was a figment of my imagination, because you know that happens to me quite a bit. Yep. That these things, like, they never really actually existed. Did you ever watch the show? Or heard of the show Sherlock Holmes of the 22nd century or something like that? I vaguely remember and it. And then Watson was just like a head on a robot, and that's yeah. what Watson was. 
I don't remember what that show was about or anything about it. But I just remember that part. But you know, now that you bring it up, I just wanted to make sure we that uh we okay. actually just watched one where there was all this supernatural stuff that was added into it. Mm-hmm. You had kind of the backstory of you know of Sherlock Holmes who went insane and Watson who was just trying to figure shit out and all that stuff and it it turned out to be a pretty good show. You know, a bunch of extra bullshit. Right. You know, but I mean... Because it's a cartoon and... WB. No, 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 that wasn't a cartoon. Oh, the one you watched? No, the one that that me and Sam just watched. It was like the Irrelevant, the Invisibles, the Imaginables, the... It started with an I and it had, was an a bulls. Uh, so. Sherlock? No? No. Oh. No, that's that's a different one. That's uh that's uh what is his name? Uh Cumberbund. Cumberbund, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah, I I've, I've heard of a uh, Cumberbund or two. Yeah. I'm I'm still upset that the Marvel universe never had Robert Downey say anything like, you know, you had so many opportunities to just make a Mustache you know, Bros thing. Oh, a, an elementary joke, <laughs> you know, just just have them say it once, just like, you know, like, in the comic books, okay, Tony Stark would always give Doctor Strange a lot of shit. Right. Okay, so you saw a little bit of it, but you had that extra facet that they both happened to play Sherlock Holmes, and at no point did we reference it. Like, come on, guys. At that point, I think the world was ending for them, and um, I'm sure they had more things on their mind. Uh uh-uh. uh. Oh, okay. uh, I'm pretty sure if there was anything more Tony Stark, it would have been for him to break character and make a joke about Sherlock Holmes to another Sherlock Holmes. That's probably true, but you know what else is true? Uh, it's about that time for a commercial. You read my mind. Yeah, well, somebody has to because you're not doing it. So we're going to take a quick commercial break from our wonderful sponsors. Wow. Did you hear that one, Howard? It was quick sharp, right? I, it had to have been. <laughs> we decided if you say it enough, right, then then it must be happening. Thank you, Quick Trip, for uh, guiding us in the right direction, whether it's 2 p.m. or 2 a.m. Hey, there you go. There you go. That sounds like a... Uh, we should tag them. That was pretty good. We got to write that Yeah, down. that sounds like a uh, a wedding toast. Yeah, that was good. And okay. if any place should go, I mean, we had we had a wonderful day. We stopped over there. Uh, Sam told me if there was anything cheese filled to grab it. So obviously, I grabbed some stuff. Um, I thought it was all pretty good. I did. I did too. I, you know, the, you like the pretzel. Oh, I didn't, get to, I didn't get to try the pretzel. I wish there was like six more of those yeah. pretzels. I have to keep my eyes. That pretzels. was that was excellent. And I'm not a pretzel guy. Oh, but it know? was but it was a soft pretzel, and instead of having to dip it into the cheese, the cheese was inside of it. It was one with the cheese. So one with the cheese. Yeah. There you go. There's and, a, there's a Wisconsin Star Wars right there. Right. <laughs> if there's, what could be more Wisconsin than that? Yeah. So. So. <laughs> no, anyway. <laughs> so from that, uh, Sam started a wonderful song because yeah. we had pizza and mojito and beers and mojito beer, mojito beer, pizza beer, pizza beer. It was something like that. It was something like that. We didn't write down the lyrics, and we probably should have. That would have been (laughs) the next Steve Miller song. (laughs) So, uh, about that, where where were we, Howard, before we got rudely interrupted by that commercial? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyway, you know, we were we were talking about we we veg out, we get sidetracked, we get deep into this movie. We were watching uh, Skyfall. That's right. Which is um, if. You don't like spoilers if you haven't seen it yet. I I haven't seen it yet. Well, you you've had almost ten years to see it. We're 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 gonna tell you everything about it right now. That's yeah. So possible. so uh, James Bond wins. Are you surprised? Well, yeah. They couldn't make another movie without him. Right. So he obviously won. I mean, they could kill him off. I think they plan on killing him off. I think between you and I, we both saw most of the movie, but there <laughs> are points where we kind of drifted off. Because it gets, like, full of itself, you know what I mean? Like, there's too many points where you're like, oh, okay. Uh, when's it on? Well, I do believe it was over two hours. 
Yeah, it was close. We're, I think we sat down at like 7 and finished at 9.39 or something like that. It was cool at first because there was a fight scene right away. Bam, 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 do we need to get the Flintstone noises right. in here now? Right. They, the sniper, they're on the same team. Pew! And they shot yeah, and it was great was because okay. because she was she was in Pirates of the Caribbean. Well, that is cool too. She was Calypso, and then that the bad cool guy too. was Tia Dalma. That's one of my favorite characters. He was the uh, the guy hunting down Captain Jack. Javier Bardem. Yeah. I don't remember which movie that was. Five? Yeah, it probably was five. Because wasn't the fourth one with uh, Ian McShane? I think so. That was... Uh... Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, great. Something um, happened. There was... Uh... Pew, pew, pew. But isn't Money Penny supposed to be like the secured, uh, the, the, the secretary? Yes. So it's cool that she was like the sniper. That's not women's well, rights. I don't know what Well, it, but, you know, spoiler alert, you know, from a 10-year-old movie, uh, at the end of the movie when he walks into the office, there she introduces herself, and they get to make the same jokes that, you know, like, we've all been hearing for years. Yeah. And so, that's kind of the cool aspect of what they were trying to do with Daniel Craig is it's kind of, they're talking about him as an old dog all the time, you know, to to allow him to play the character longer, but it's more of an introduction to who Bond is and how we know everybody and all that stuff. So it's kind of, it's a whole jacked up universe. Yeah, it is, uh, it is interesting. Uh, yeah, he gave me like a, well, first of all, he gave me a Kevin Costner vibe, which is always interesting. It's the haircut. They're like an old man Kevin Costner vibe. Yeah, they definitely have the same hairstyle. I always like that, um, that old man, uh, like the old man Logan kind of thing. Yeah. It's old man James Bond, old man Robert Plant. But wait, that's, that's a different episode. We'll, <laughs> we'll talk all about that next one. Um, but yeah. It's always cool to like see those guys, what they were, what they are now, yeah. and how they kind of go about life. Well, so my one of my favorite ones, and we've talked about it before, was Men in Black 3. Oh, yeah. You know, Tommy Lee Jones is in there doing all his Tommy Lee Jones stuff. And we go back in time. Whoa. How do we go back in time? Not like they did in Gemini Man, where they just, you know, CGI'd young Will Smith against old Will Smith. Was that a good movie? I don't know. I never saw it. I don't know. I didn't see it. I thought it was going to be like... I keep watching Blazing Saddles over and over and over and over again. Well, sooner or later, you're going to have to watch, you know, Blazing Saddles. Yeah, that's true. I'm looking forward to that day. So, um, fun tangent with that. So, I was talking with... Uh, my third shift security officer during the week, Calvin. Cool. And Calvin is, he's hilarious. They call him old school. Yeah. You know, he's a, he's a I put him somewhere in his 50s. So, okay. but everything he talks about is just like, you know, he was telling DeAndre, who was the first shift, where they transition. You know, and I'm usually there at that time where the shift changes. So we're all shooting the shit together, mm-hmm. and he's telling DeAndre about this episode of the Munsters. And the Munsters, they were this little kid was talking about, you know, you know Herman Munster is nine feet tall, and you know all this right. stuff. And he said, he goes, the doctor was there, and the doctor had to go to the house to see for himself that you know everybody's just normal, and it was Hedley Lamar. <laughs> <laughs> and so he said it was hilarious because he's him is you know the the actor and I don't know his name. I can't think of his name either. You know, but but mean. he is talking in a you know like a German accent because right. he's a doctor. Yes, and he's just like you know he goes think of all the blazing saddles stuff, you know that was going on and. The faces that he made in Blazing Saddles, and now you put them in the monsters. Right. You know, and it's just like, and nobody knows what's going on. But, yeah, he's telling me this. I'm I'm making comments from Blazing Saddles. He makes them back. 
And Dre is sitting there with this look on his face like, What is going on? What are you guys talking about? <laughs> I, get like, that, I get that look a lot. I even get it from you sometimes. Like, like, I got a little deep. Dre, have you really never seen Blazing Saddles? No. What? So I showed him the scene of while they were in the jail. Mm. When he wakes up, you know, when Gene Wilder wakes up the first time and goes, Are we awake? We're not sure. Are we black? <laughs> yes, we are. Then we're awake. We're very puzzled. You know, but just every aspect. And he was laughing because the chess piece and everything. and Which is another great one. You Look know, at the chess piece. Like I told you earlier, are you running around the whole house? You want to see me do it again? Yeah. That, you know, that so, was classic, too. So it's just every aspect. And he looked at me and goes, all right, I guess I got to check this movie out. Like, you guess, man, you're missing out. And it's so fun to rewatch it because you miss so much. As you get older and more experienced, it's like, how did I miss that? <laughs> it's funny. Um, we do Breakfast at 7, Pussies, on uh, Saturdays. That's a line. You know, that's how we get motivated. Okay, let's get up, get ready for breakfast. So when I get up, I'm, like, barely awake. I'll, like, half asleep look for, like, Blazing Saddle, like, Cliffs. <laughs> Like, hey, where are the white women at? You know, I get that one. Or today I did that one. And you just said, and just get everybody up, you know, and see if we're still going to breakfast. And yeah. See if we can get a response and get a couple of ha-ha-has. Okay, we're on. Yeah, right. You know, let's go. Let's do this. Or otherwise, I'm sleeping in. Right. Don't, don't lie. You're watching Blazing Saddles. How did you know? See, I keep telling you. Stop looking in my apartment. I don't have to. Doc tells me everything. Oh, uh, that's probably true, yeah. Um, what were we talking about? Uh, we're going to be talking about this beer. Okay. Because it's about that time. Howard, what do you think of it? Uh, it's sour beer. Sour beer is cheating. I'm a firm believer in that. I've said that on this program. I say that on my Untapped app pretty often. I'm, I'm legsless on Untapped. Um, it's a really good beer. I think I get wine vibes. From it with wine the vibes fermented grapes i get wine vibes i like it i wouldn't put it over four that's good four i i agree with you right there i'm gonna put it at four uh it's sour that's what i notice of it kind of ignore the rest of it and a little dry it's a little dry mm, i don't think it's dry i think that's you i think you're dry oh. like your humor I do have a dry something. I'm like British humor. Uh, right, right. So British that it's American humor. Yeah. I'm the uh, Channing Tatum of British humor. <laughs> wow. That's or, that's bad. I don't even think he that, does like, anything anymore. Like the Eddie Van Halen of British humor. That's probably an insult to Eddie Van Halen, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. He's rolling in his grave. <laughs> probably for more reason than one. Yeah. All right, Max, it's my turn to ask you. Yeah. Any final thoughts? Um, I mean, as always, a Vern response. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. Don't right. need to say anymore. You don't. I already know. So, on behalf of everybody here, which is just the two of us with no live studio audience today. Not today. We're slacking today. We are. Uh, we are going to thank everybody for listening, for tolerating, and don't forget, we I ring like for that. beer here. I like that. That's a good way, another good way to end. So, if there's nothing else, I am still Max. And I am Howard. Cheers. Cheers.